everybody so I'm gonna be doing a haul for you today and we were in San Antonio we did a little road trip this past weekend and we went to San Antonio to take my son out because we didn't really do anything for his birthday we took him other than eat but uh, we took him to Six Flags um, on Saturday and on Friday we did a little shopping so Saturday we took him to Six Flags and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff I got. It's not that much. I didn't really go crazy shopping because, you know, my last trip I went pretty crazy. <laughs> but um, I bought a pair of boots at Steve Madden. And it still has the pair. This one, the other one doesn't have the little thing. But it has a little cute buckle decor on the ankle side. and. Uh, what I like about it is the heel is not too high, which makes it very comfortable to walk in, you know, um, and um, it's dark chocolate, it's like a really dark brown, it's not black, but yeah, so it's fall, going into winter, you know, and boots are in during those seasons, so I just wanted to get another pair of boots, and when you do go shop at Steve Madden, um, they do provide those grips and cushion, those back grip and the, for the bottom grip. So this one doesn't really have much grip so I asked them if they have it and they gave me a set of grip for my shoe, for my boots. So if you do shop there, don't forget to ask them because they provide it for free, okay? These are for free at Steve Madden. Like, I've shopped at Baker's and uh, so one, Aldo and you have to buy these separately and you know they are pretty pricey there it's like six bucks six to eight dollars or five to eight dollars and I think off the boardwalk what's that what it's called? I don't know, it's one outlet shoe store they sell it for um, three dollars so, so if you do go to Steve Madden don't forget to ask for these little grips they even have the cushion for the palm of your feet is that what it's called? balls of your feet or whatever you call that this part that you know that always on your tiptoe so to give it more comfort and the grip for the back of your heel so they provide those three kind of grips for it so those that's the only boot, boot yeah, that I bought and this was actually on sale surprisingly it was only $35 I think. yeah $35 I think it's originally like Sixty or seventy dollars. I'm not sure. Right, and so we went to Sephora and bought a few skincare products. And you know, my husband, he's been very, very prone to breakouts, and some of the scars left some. I mean, some of the acne left some dark scars. And you know, he just he's just been wondering how to get rid of that. And then I saw the commercial on the. Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. It's this one right here. And uh, it comes in on their Clinique box like this. So basically, this will be, uh, this helps lighten the dark spots on your face. Like uh, it could be sunspots, aging, old aging spots, um, what's the other one? Acne scars. So, yeah. I will give this a try and I will post a one month video of him using it so he will be my little um, experiment for this product but uh, yeah he was down to try this he saw a commercial I've been telling him about it prior but he's when he saw the commercial that's when he was like let's give this a try so it retails for $40 I think or 40 or 50 I'm not sure yeah but you can get it at Sephora and with this one, the lady at Sephora said that it's if you're gonna, you have to apply this twice a day, morning and night. So when, in the morning, you know, if you're gonna be out in the sun, you have to use a sunscreen, not a sunscreen, a moisturizer that has an SPF in it, because you know it will defeat the purpose of this if you know the sun hits your face and you have no protection for your face. So we got them the Super Goop. Dr. T Super Goop. This is SPF 30 uh, everyday face and body moisturizer. So it says on the um, the direction at least SPF 15, but we just wanted to have this product work even better. <laughs> 
So we got a higher, stronger moisturizer with a higher SPF. And I'm almost out of my, uh, my MAC moisturizer. And I decided to get the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing, moisturizing Lotion. And there are two different ones. The gel one is for more of a combination to oily and the lotion is more towards normal to dry and which is what I use. And I really like it. It sinks in very nicely to my skin. And uh, I think it's way, way cheaper than the MAC one. I think the MAC one runs for like 30 bucks, And it's only like 1.7 ounce. This is $20 or $22, something like that. And this is a 4.2 ounce. And they have one for $35, it's like, I think 8 ounces, I'm not sure, but it's like bigger than this, okay, it's like a family size of moisturizer. Um, yeah, so I wanted to try this out, and so far I like it. I've also suggested my husband to use this at night, because this helps um, even out your skin tone, so maybe these two will, you know, work well together. And... I'm also, I also purchased the Boxum Lash Liner, Lash Enhancing and Conditioning Treatment because my old one, which I've had for quite a while, is starting to dry up on me. But I've used a lot of that. Like, I can see, ooh, what's going on here? Like, I see the bottom, like, emptying out and it's just, I'm just trying to scrape up the sides of it. But it's starting to dry up and I think it's time for a new one, but I'm still going to try to use it. It's still pretty creamy, but it's just not as creamy as a brand new lash liner. So I got that. And my husband's like my little experiment, okay? I'm just like making him try all these face wash and see what works best for him. Um, but this one is a Biore. Pore unclogging scrub. Do you see that? The light is like too bright. There you go. And this one, it says it's clinically proven to instantly work 68 better than proactive. So I don't know. Um, and it's it scrubs without damaging your skin. So. You know, the St. Ives, if that's a little rough on you, maybe this will work better. And this one has um, salicylic acid for acne treatment, so it's to prevent acne. So that should be much better. But I bought this for him yesterday, yesterday or Sunday, and he's been using it. So hopefully it works. It says, um, it's oil-free formula with gentle scrubbing beads and maximize maximum strength salicylic acid clears away poor clogging dirt oil and dead skin cells so yeah this one has more benefit than the St. Ive apricot scrub on your face um, but this is for those who's prone to breakouts and prevent future breakouts so I will see how this works on him if it works well on him then I will let you guys know so that's pretty much it for my haul and I will give you an update on this. Maybe we started using it last Saturday. So four weeks from last Saturday. What was last Saturday? I think it was November 6 or 7. I'm not sure. But one month of him using this, I will post pictures because I'm already taking pictures of him, the before pictures. And hopefully it works. So yeah. Hopefully it works on him and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.